episode and welcome to MGA Drive and I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video Mark has bought another car I bought a little mini a John Cooper Works a 2010 model uh, but before we get into it I thought I'd just quickly say the Subaru has been sold guys uh, sorry to disappoint um, I guess there was probably a little bit of a lack of um, something between me and the car, a bit of, I don't know, there was something missing, but um, anyway, it has been sold. Um, I've had the Mini now roughly for around three weeks now, going on to three weeks, and I've got to say it is definitely putting a smile to my face. Um, so yeah, something a little bit different, a little hot hatch. Um, it is a 2010 model, uh, like I said, it is the John Cooper Works. Uh, so what have we got guys? What have we got under the bonnet? It is a turbocharged engine. It is a 1.6 litre uh, They're roughly around 155 kilowatt by 260 newton meters of torque. So quite impressive. I've got to say it is um, You know, it's not, not no powerhouse, but at the same time it is quite fun to drive um, There is a bit of you know a bit of punch there when you do get into it, it does put a bit of a smile to your face if the kids have called it corgi you probably did seeing the little intro there what the corgi mean and uh my kids have a bit of a passion like their dad they they know i get excited when i buy a car and um they do too so i thought it was quite cute they came up with a bit of a, a nickname for it so uh i've ran with it corgi that's the nickname but overall i'm gonna say um pretty happy with it um i did pick it up for a, a good deal a good price um you know, the car isn't perfect by all means, it is gonna need a bit of work to it, but you know, that's something that I don't mind doing, sharing with you guys as well. Uh, but overall, the interior, it's not bad. I can't wait to get my hands on the car, on the in internals, you know, it did have seat covers. Um, I'm gonna say, look, it was quite well looked after inside. It's just sort of, you know, in the little nooks and crannies, in the crevices, um, there is a lot of dust. Um, there is, you know, rem remnants of cat hair through the car as well too. So that's something that I will do. I can't wait to get my hands on the interior. It needs a good once over, you know, when you just want to make it your own. Um, so that's going to happen ASAP. I'm going to get into that. Um, the body wise, look, you know, there, there are a few dings um, you know, on the left hand quarter panel. Uh, I will do a once over. Um, and go over it and show you guys today is more of a bit of a bit of an introduction on what I bought and obviously to explain what I bought and um, but you know the, the body work it's not too bad um, I will get my hands onto it eventually it's going to need a good one to have a bit of a gurney a polish and then I eventually get those dents removed from the car um, and the rear bar eventually is going to need painting as well the clear coat has gone on that but I think we'll make we'll say that for another video um, but overall guys pretty happy with it uh, the quality inside the interior the leather um, we all know that mini is made by BMW so there is there's a pretty nice touch that BMW has done inside it's got the old school dashboard inside that does remind you of the old the old minis um, but overall pretty happy with it the handling um, it's quite quite nice I can't believe how how these things stick to the road for a front-wheel drive car um, the sports mode when you do put it in sports mode you do get a few bangs and pops out of the exhaust system as well um, uh, it gives you a bit more throttle response and tighten up the steering as well too a bit more sort of um, you know you sort of point and shoot where it wants to go so that does make a massive difference the downshifts on this thing is pretty insane i got to say the the burbles and that that you get out of the exhaust system the little backfires um, it sounds quite mean one thing i love what mini have done is definitely the seating position they have so got it right a lot of manufacturers can get it wrong where you're sitting too high up uh, at least with the mini i find you sit quite low uh, your shoulder level with the door is pretty much right. The steering position, the brakes, the clutch, the pedal, that overall feel of when you're driving, it is so important. And I find that a lot of manufacturers, they can get it so wrong 
where everything else is right and the seating position and the, the overall feeling because that's what you're doing you're driving and you want that spot on so to me good on your mini the good thing i guess with these cars you know it is a 2010 model um there is a lot out there as well too um you know as in performance wise mods um i know these things sound awesome with an exhaust system on the back whether it's a downpipe or a or a cat back exhaust system um, so they're things that i am looking um, into for the future uh, one thing i did notice when i did buy it that's going to need a bit of attention on it is the excuse me the lower control arms uh, i did notice when i did buy the car sort of you can you can hear it as you go over a few bumps you can sort of hear that knocking sound so that's something that i'm going to have to address asap uh, Ray, shout out to you mate, I have, the Subaru is gone, don't freak out, I bought another car, uh, I'll be seeing you soon mate, we're going to do a service and get Ray to put it up on the hoist and do a bit of a once over, get it to do a thorough check and make sure the car's all sweet to, uh, to daily. But there we have it guys, that's what I've decided to buy, um, comment down below, let us know on what your thoughts are. Uh, am I mad for buying a Mini? Um, I know that they do have a few dramas. I know the earlier generation the Supercharge uh, had its fair share. This is the N14 again. There are a few dramas with these two, but um, I was told if you sort of stay on top of your services, um, you know, it, it does prevent, uh, I guess, problems, hiccups with the car. So far, my one seems pretty good. Fingers crossed it all goes well. Righty, guys, as always, hope you've enjoyed that video. If you haven't already please hit the subscribe button it does help out the channel smash the like button as they say and uh look forward to catches news on the next one and as always guys stay safe thanks for watching see you bye